Well, I had a really delicious bread the other night at a local restaurant. It tasted very, very different and was really lovely. I asked what it was, and they said it was flaxseed bread. It was made with a flour ground from flax seeds. I didn't expect it, but when I asked for the recipe, they gave it to me. It's really simple, and now I'm going to make a flaxseed bread too. I'm heating my toaster oven to 400 degrees. Here's two and a third cups of beautiful flaxseed flour. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda. Mixing these dry ingredients. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of vinegar and three quarters of a cup of water. Now I'm mixing until it becomes very smooth. And as I'm mixing, I'm noticing that these ingredients are all coming together to make a kind of dough. This mixture now can be formed into a ball. Now they said, let this dough rest for about three minutes. Okay. Do, 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 do. I guess it's pretty well rested. <laughs> now I'm popping the flaxseed loaf into the toaster oven. That was 50 minutes at 400. This is an amazing bread. The crust is very solid. The inside is soft and moist. The flavor is nut-like and so rich. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. I'm seeing that this bread holds up very well to jalapenos as well. You can do a lot of things in your toaster oven. Buy my cookbook, pop it in the toaster oven. You can buy it anywhere, full of wonderful, exciting recipes, just like this one. This bread was served at the restaurant with a kind of a butter yogurt spread and then uh, dill was put on the top, just dried dill. It was delicious.